and I systematically eliminated all of my boost leaks and vacuum leaks. All the leaks were fixed by replacing gaskets or using Teflon tape on the fittings and uh, RTV only where necessary. What I do intend to change this video are all the things that still aren't quite right. Tuning, yes. 95% of tuning is mechanical. Lots of people think you can sit down with a laptop and dial in tons of horsepower by hitting save. They're barely correct. A, uh, a data logger setup is just a tool. It's a way to get feedback to verify that the sensors are working properly. But when they're not, 100% of resolving that part is mechanical. You gotta hold your coolant in, you've gotta hold your oil in, your boost in, your spark in. Your throttle needs to be set properly. Your plugs and gaps correct, your base timing set properly, and the right fuel pressure. A clean air filter helps, but so does moving the air intake to a location where you can draw colder air in. I haven't done that yet. There are many aspects of tuning. The point is to get every system operating in its optimal range. But what I want to work on today is um, the throttle linkage. Now that all this stuff's moved around, it's a little bit out of whack. I'm going to make sure the throttle plate's opening all the way. I'm going to make sure the TPS sensor is in the right range. And I'm going to set the throttle cable so that there's no slack in the pedal. If the pedal has play in it before it begins to move, some of it's good, but that's ridiculous. You see there, I've got about three quarters of an inch of play before it actually starts to engage the throttle. You feel that slop, that's not necessarily a good thing. You want that to be minimal, but you definitely want some to be there so that at some point all of the pressure can be released from the throttle cable. So before we begin, the first thing we're going to start with is the throttle stopper. It's this thing right here. Basically it's a bolt that goes down and holds the throttle plate from uh, going completely closed so that the throttle doesn't stick shut. The 1G throttle bodies are famous for this. The 2Gs have a stopper built in and the, uh, the idle switch is built into the throttle position sensor. I don't really need this sensor to be wired up or working because I'm using the 2G throttle position sensor. But in order for this to be functioning, what I want to do is probe this by putting a tester here and then the other one on the metal portion of the switch. And when the switch comes in contact with the throttle linkage, this value will go to something other than one, what it's currently at right now. All right, so at this stage in the game, I have a non-sticking throttle, and uh, that sensor's honked down to the point where I have resistance on it now. All I have to do is touch there and there, and you will see I have contact. Yeah, that's more like it. All right. So just seeing that we have resistance there, and the fact that it's not sticking, it's now time to move on to the throttle position sensor. Now with the throttle position sensor, you need to use a voltmeter on two of the wires, and you'd be able to probe the outer pins of it. And you'll see resistance on it when you sweep the throttle lever. You'll see that part move on the multimeter. And normally it sweeps between a half a volt to five volts. It's a five volt circuit. So what I'm going to do, rather than using a voltmeter on that since I have DSM link, is I'm going to open up the laptop here and zoom in on the voltage for the throttle position sensor and uh, hold that piece while I tighten it down. I know that what we need for values is that the throttle position sensor TPS volts there needs to be 0.63 at idle with the throttle plate closed. So it looks like my TPS sensor could be a little bit out of whack. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and adjust this until I've got 0.63 volts. It's really difficult to get tools on there. And a lot of times if you try to use the Phillips head screw slots in the front of it, I think there's thread locker on those or something, but they'll easily strip out. What I've done in order to be able to get around this problem is I've made a socket by taking I think it was an 8mm, 
yeah, eight millimeter socket, and uh, took it to the bench grinder and tapered it. And that way, it can fit in there. It can fit in there around the bolt and make the clearance. A standard socket seemed to be too thick. So anyway, let's loosen that up. There we go. That ought to be loose enough. Yeah, I can move it around a little bit there. One other thing we have to check is the gas pedal to see how much slack is in that. Now that we know the throttle plate's all the way closed and the stopper's in the right place, and we know that the throttle position sensor is set right at 63.63 volts, now if I womp on the throttle plate, we should see exactly how far it opens. So we have 0.63 volts to 4.43 volts just from adjusting that. We know we have the baseline set. But what helps the throttle body to open as far as possible is to have your throttle linkage adjusted correctly. Alright. You want to have some slack in the throttle cable like I mentioned before with the throttle with the gas pedal, but what you want to do here is leave some slack in it, but adjust that wherever it reaches best. That's got slack. Just a little tad bit there. Bounce that with my finger. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down at this point. It's very different from the position where it lined up on the uh, factory manifold because I have a different manifold on here. So when things move around, stuff kind of changes. just from adjusting throttle linkage. Now if the throttle position sensor doesn't tell a lie, that means the throttle plate's opening farther. On a turbo Mitsubishi it's hard to check the position of the throttle plate without taking off the throttle body elbow and physically looking through it. That's the way, that's the best way to test to see exactly how well that, that setup's working. But this is the best way we can do it with everything bolted together. So if you get those items straight, you know that your throttle plate is closing fully, you know your TPS is adjusted properly, and you know your throttle linkage is allowing you to get the full sweep of the throttle plate at full throttle, then